What is up, everyone? Welcome back to another video. I hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, before we get into it, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe if you'd like to. Totally up to you. But uh, let's just have a look at the content today. So, we start with Team of the Season opening weekend. A new objective. Play three matches in squad battles, rivals, or champs for 381 plus defenders pack. Play five for 381 plus midfielders. Play 7 for 381 plus attackers. Win 4 matches while conceding 1 or less goals for 583 plus defenders back. That's pretty good. I'd recommend opening these during the next promo, which is going to be the live team of the season. Because it's just a mix of a whole bunch of leagues and a whole bunch of different players. These aren't league specific. They're position specific, which is a little weird given team of the season is in a position specific promo. But then we also have 583 plus midfielders for winning 8 by at least 2 goals. And then the overall completion reward is 583 plus attackers back. That's pretty solid. A lot of this you're just going to get done without even trying anyway. So that's a little bit extra packs for us. In terms of SBCs, we don't have any evolutions. I just checked. We have the 88 plus Encore Icon player pick for an 86, an 87, and an 87 with the team of the week. And this gives us... One of four, so that's good. Four options. Thunderstruck, Winter Wildcards, Team of the Year, or Future Star Icons rated 88 overall or higher. That's pretty solid. You can do it repeated twice every two days, so I'm definitely going to do that for you guys. And then besides that, don't forget to do your daily warm-up. Please do not forget that. You're going to be hating yourself if you do. And we also have Alessandro Florenzi as a flashback. This legend of FIFA. Five-star, three-star. High, high, incredible, incredible stats. He's a uh, holy gang all around. Incredible shot power, long shots and volleys. Decent pace. Good dribbling, except for reactions and dribbling, but it's good enough. Good physicals with 99 aggression, 99 jumping, 96 stam. Good defending and solid passing. He has nearly all of the defending play styles except for jockey. Anticipate plus and ping pass plus. This is a great card. He can also, I'm assuming, yeah, he can also play right back and right wing back. Center mid is nice. He's going to cost an 85 and an 87. That's not bad at all, guys. But also, you have to keep in mind that team of the season is right around the corner. And he's probably going to last in your team for like one weekend. And then there's going to be hundreds of cards better than him. So I would recommend maybe waiting on him, seeing. But if you're an adamant Florenzi fan or you're a fan of Milan or you're Italian, you can definitely go for it. He's not a bad card at all. In the store, I am going to open some of the packs, but don't forget to do your 10 coin pack. I did mine. I got Frankie de Jong, which is pretty solid. We have this Encore player pick grab bag that I'm going to open, and I'm going to open the tradable Fate and Fantasy Encore pack, which has two guaranteed Future Stars Fantasy FC or Ultimate Birthday Player items. It includes Heroes or Icons and 10 Gold Rares as well. So first, we're going to start out with the pick because you do have a chance of getting a Team of the Year in this. So let's see. Yeah, basically Team of the Year Holland. We're probably going to go with Gunter. Uh, solid pull. Definitely makes my starting 11 over Cafu and Lom. Uh, but let's see. Now we have the Fate and Fantasy Encore pack tradable. So whatever we get, we can sell it. Is that an icon? Is that... Oh, Forsberg? Foot birthday Forsberg and Oh! We got Bird Camp! That's not bad at all. That's definitely we'll take that. Tradable as well. About 150k. We take that every day of the week. Forsberg, I don't know how much he is. The rest of this we're gonna discard. And let's get into the icon picks. Actually, guys, you know what? Because I just got that bird camp. We're going to do another one with coins. 250,000 coins. What do we get? I don't even know what flair that's supposed to be. Spanish striker. Oi. Not what you want to see. Oh, I packed her a thousand times. Gundawan. That's not bad at all. These packs are fun. And remember, at the end of the day, everything I pack, I can, tr I can sell it. He is worth 160,000 coins. So we pretty much, across the two packs, we made our money back. We will take that every day of the week. A little bit of fun. I don't think I'm going to open the next one. But 
definitely fun if you want to try it out. Okay, so we have our first icon player pick. Let's see what we get. Sador and Kaka. How much are these guys even worth now? Kaka is coming in at 400k, so we'll take him. We do love Kaka, but there is obviously a better version. Let's see what we get in our next one. We're opening a 1083 just to get some fodder. We get a French... Ooh! We'll take that every day of the week, our Chowie. Who's our other walkout? Palmer. We'll take that. Two good team of the weeks. What else do we get? Hopefully a good amount of fodder. Nope, mostly 83. So that's great. That's exactly what we were looking for. Okay. We have our last icon pick. Let's see what we get. One of four options. Oh, Jesus Christ. These are bad. Well, hopefully you guys got better luck than I did. We went with just the fodder and caca. Um, but let me know down below what you guys got. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.